So we're gonna talk about B-roll. <laughs> What's up guys? It's Ben back again with another video today We are going to be learning about b-roll. How does b-roll work? What do you use b-roll for and how can you use b-roll to make your video overall look more professional? I have a couple of notes written down. I got my phone. We got a camera. We got a light. Let's go ahead Let's get into it. So we're gonna start off with what is b-roll the definition of b-roll I'm gonna display it right here while I read it in film and television production b-roll b-roll b-real or b-real is supplemental or alternative footage intercut with the main shot uh, the term b-roll referring to the main footage has fallen out of use so What does that mean in normal people talk b-roll is overlaying footage over what you are actually talking about so if i'm sitting here and i'm telling you right now that i have a pool table in my house my pool table is red and it's black and we have a whole bunch of sticks that can be used by different people i'm just telling you that all you're seeing is my face but if i'm telling you this while i overlay a video of my pool table some b-roll or some montage footage over what I'm talking about, then you will actually understand what my pool table looks like. Let's try that again. I have a pool table. My pool table is red and black and it has sticks that multiple people, different sizes, can use. So what classifies cool and usable B-roll? If you're talking about a product, if you're talking about something in your video, if you overlay it over your mainframe and you talk about what is in that frame, that to me is considered cool b-roll it can come in the form of pictures it can come in the form of video so here's an example of how i used b-roll in my last video so the fourth thing that we're going to talk about is uh shooting through something now it's a really cool effect that you can use in either like wedding photography portrait photography landscape it kind of works all the way around i used it in the wedding that i shot this weekend uh for a lot of like the cinematic shots the really cool photos that we took where i was shooting through stuff to basically frame out the subject that I'm looking at. So in that footage, I was talking about shooting through something. So I overlaid that video over my voice and talked about shooting through something, showing examples on shooting through something. And that, and, and that's, that's just how I edited the video. Now you do this in your editing software. I use Premiere Pro. So now you guys understand that you can put footage over what you're talking about and you can still have that main footage or main frame as what I am right now. So what is the difference between B-roll and montage footage or montage as everyone calls it? I'm saying montage, montage. It's a word now, just letting you know. They're very similar, don't get me wrong, they are very similar. But a montage, in my opinion, don't quote me on this because this is just my opinion, This is I went to school for this, but they didn't really teach us that in school, just gonna let you know. The difference between B-roll is B-roll, to me, has a talking point. B-roll is, I'm talking about this in the video, I want someone to be able to see what I'm talking about. Basically, just showing what you're talking about in your footage and overlaying that over your video is B-roll. That is B-roll, that is how B-roll works. How many times do I see B-roll in this video? I have no idea. But it's B-roll, guys. A montage is some form of cinematic footage that's going over music. It can go over music, can go over sound. You don't even need music. You can have ambient sound, you can have regular sound, you can have whooshes, 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 whatever. You can have all of that and still be able to have a montage. I have my friend here. He is a photographer. I'm gonna have him sit down with me and we're gonna talk about B-roll while we do some B-roll sequences, right? We're gonna give you some awesome examples of B-roll just so you guys can look at it, maybe watch it, maybe take down some notes. So we are here with Jacob. 
What's up, guys? Uh, Jacob is one of my photography friends. Uh, it, really quick, we're just going to do an example of B-roll. These are some of his photos that he's taken. He loves taking pictures. Night photography, which is definitely not my strong suit. I absolutely hate night photography. But he takes pictures of cars and uh, of uh, some Instagram models. He's really cool. His link, of course, to his Instagram is going to be in the description. If you guys want to go follow him, uh, he makes some really awesome pictures. And honestly, I've learned a little bit from him. Not a lot, but a little. He's also learning a lot from me, right? Of course, of course. <laughs> what kind of camera do you use? You use the... It's a Canon EOS 1D Mark IV. Okay, there you go. And we got a cool little Manfrotto uh, thing on the bottom. Of course, of course. So, as you guys just saw, with when we were explaining what his camera looks like, we had some overlaying footage of what his camera looked like. I'm gonna give that back to you. Jacob, I want you to tell me in your own words, what does B-roll mean to you? What is B-roll? How is B-roll used? Uh, well, if I did more videography stuff, B-roll would be more of like to tie in different parts of the video. Mm -hmm. Really brings everything together, in my mm -hmm. opinion. Everyone knows that YouTubers use B-roll to enhance their footage and to enhance the way that their video comes out in the end to be able to keep the audience's attention and what they're talking about. Because if you just have a stagnant shot the entire time, that's going to make people want to click off of it. Yeah, like this is getting boring. Roll the B-roll. <laughs> so if you have B-roll and you have cool footage going around in the video overlaying over your A-roll, it is totally going to change the look and feel of your actual video. And it'll make people wanna stay on longer on your video and it'll keep the audience's attention and blah, 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 guys. Just do B-roll. It's more professional. Way more professional, guys. People will love it. There's Kyle. <laughs> yes, she wasn't gonna invite me into the video, it's cool. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, go ahead and leave a like. And guys, if you have any questions or anything like that for me, Kyle, Jacob, we will go ahead and answer them if you comment them down below in the comment area down below. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, I do post every Thursday at 6 a.m. Guys, do you have anything else you'd like to say? Our Instagrams are going to be below. Definitely. Uh, Kyle's too. His, he has a car. It's really awesome. Anyways, guys, I will see you guys next time. Deuces. Or what do I say? Oh, stay classy. See you later. Bye.